It's a here we go between Bruno Fernandes and Man United. Everything has been completed, everything has been agreed, so everything is in place, even the paperwork, even the contracts. We can say that Bruno Fernandes will stay at Manchester United. Hey guys, welcome back here on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. What's up? As always here, guys, to give you all the latest on the transfer market. And today it's time to confirm an information we already said here on the channel a few days, a few weeks ago. Now everything is in place, everything is completed. Bruno Fernandes and Manchester United will continue together. Here we go. Let's jump into some details of this deal together here on the channel. Let's go. And so guys, it's a here we go between Bruno Fernandes and Man United. Everything has been completed, everything has been agreed, so everything is in place, even the paperwork, even the contracts. We can say that Bruno Fernandes will stay at Manchester United, the contract is completed and he will stay with a new deal till June 2027. So he will extend the contract and he will be, from what I'm told, into the top three of the most paid players of Manchester United. Many of you are asking me why Manchester United decided to do it before knowing who will be the new manager. It's simple guys, because it's something that Manchester United told Bruno Fernandes and his agent Miguel Pino long time ago. It was last summer, they promised them to extend the contract, then it was taken slow because of the negotiation, because of many things happened in Man United like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer leaving the club, so it was a slow process, but it was negotiated since last July. First week of July 2021, May United made the first proposal to Bruno Fernandes and it took like eight, nine months to negotiate and reach an agreement. But now everything is completed. It's important to say that Bruno Fernandes is so happy to stay. Bruno Fernandes really wanted to stay at May United. It's not a beautiful moment for the club, but he's really committed. He's super professional. He loves the club and this is why he wanted to sign a new deal, of course the salary is going to be important, so on my United side they are giving Bruno what he deserves, he's always been a really important player, scoring important goals for Portugal to go to the World Cup also, so we're talking about a top international player and now top salary is a smart move from Manchester United because it's protecting the player, we know now with the contracts how many dangerous things could happen with players going into the final years of their contracts, so they wanted to extend this deal and to give Bruno what he deserved, this is why they decided to be on point with Bruno Fernandes, no matter what happens with the new manager. Now the next steps could be Luke Shaw and let's see in the summer what happens with Marcus Rashford but it's not negotiated now. For Luke Shaw it's something that May United want to discuss in the coming months, in the coming weeks but Bruno Fernandes was the priority. Bruno Fernandes has always been optimistic on this deal. Now everything is in place and so Bruno will stay at Manchester United. He will sign a new deal till 2027. He will have an important salary and so this deal is completed. We can say here we go for Bruno Fernandes and Manchester United together till 2027. And so guys, let me hear your idea, your thoughts on this Manchester United decision to extend Bruno Fernandes' contract. They will continue together. I wait for your opinion here in the comments as always, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, turn on the notification bell, guys, because we'll have many, many updates coming in a few next few days, in the next few weeks. And so guys, see you soon with Fabrizio Romano here on the channel or YouTube.